Okay, so this is my first vlog. Um, basically, I'm just really excited and looking forward to the Gymnastics World Championships that are next, or it's starting in two days, and go on through the next week. But um, I've been wanting to make a vlog channel for a while. And I figured that this would be a good time to start one, since there's a lot to talk about. Okay, so today I'm basically just going to talk about um, podium training and injuries. Um, I've been obsessed with gymnastics for a long time. I competed when I was younger. Um, I'm 19 right now and a sophomore in college. So, yeah, I just... Um, I'm a big fan of the sport. I'm not directly involved right now. Uh, I try to do club gymnastics, like we have a club at my university last year, but when I got into the gym, I realized I was completely out of shape, I couldn't even do a kip on the bar, which is a sad, sad day, so I figured it'd just be best if I s focused on my studies. I s I'm still, like, always on YouTube looking at videos, or gymnastique.org looking up videos, or blogs or something, but I wanted to do my own little thing, and so I decided that the best way to do that was a video chat, or a video blog, a vlog, so here it goes. So losing Rebecca was a huge blow to the team. We could obviously use her bars and her floor, which is the team's two weakest events, so it's really sad to see her down. I mean, hopefully she'll be having a speedy recovery. I heard her surgery went fine and that she's just working on conditioning and getting back in shape. And before she can't do any skills yet, obviously. But I really hope she'll be okay for 2012 because we will need her for sure. And we also had Mackenzie Caquato go down at World uh, Selection Camps. So that's, that's a shame because we could definitely use her bars, especially since now, Anna Lee is injured and can't do her bar routine at Worlds this year. Podium training, okay. The girls looked great at podium training. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, um, you can click the link right here to gymnastics page, and they have a whole bunch, like every single routine from the United States, plus um, other countries. Uh, Victoria Kamova, Kamova, you can check her out. She's looking great. Catalina Ponor, uh, also looking awesome. Uh, Beth Tweddle on bars. Check out that routine. It's really good. So the link is up there. The United States looked absolutely great at podium training. Everyone was hitting. There was like one miss on a floor routine. So they look great so far. Um, Alicia's injury. That's what I'll talk about now. <sighs> it's really disappointing. Um, I mean, obviously it hurts the team. They could use her vault. That's a few tenths we could gain. And her beam... That's probably like near a point we could gain because we'll probably put for Sabrina and Alicia's capable of bringing in a low 15, so it's kind of I don't know, we'll see. And if they do win a medal, which I mean, they should still make top three, hopefully, that Alicia can get that 10th world medal and break the record of Shannon and Nastia, but uh, because honestly, I think she deserves it. Alicia's worked hard. I know I'm not saying, saying that Shannon and Nastia haven't, but Alicia's been around longer. She's been elite for, I don't know, eight years probably? Maybe nine? I don't know. It's her fifth world championships. So that's pretty impressive, honestly. I really want her to have that medal. And it looks like Sean is not being flown in. They have their six girls, and Anna is still the alternate, and I don't see that changing. Um, she is injured, but in an interview it sounded like she wanted to work through the pain. So I'm guessing if someone else is out for any reason, that she will go ahead and perform to the best of her ability, even with her injury, at least on bars or beam, if necessary. I don't see that happening. I hope that doesn't have to happen, but... We'll see. Yeah, we could definitely use Sean's beam score in place of Alicia's, but 
that won't happen, obviously, because we can't fly her in. The competition is in, like, 36 hours. It's a 16-hour flight. Um, it's just not really possible. But overall, I'm super excited about the United States team at Worlds, and I'm really excited to see this competition start. And, yeah. So, good luck, USA. Okay, I'll start with China now. China is looking great. Um, they're one of the few teams that have not injured someone either at Worlds or right before Worlds uh, that I know of. Um, I don't follow them as closely as I follow the Americans just because I don't have that media available. They are looking really good. Um, Hukashin looks fantastic. Um, they all just... I don't know, it's incredible. Like, I know sometimes they tend to be inconsistent. They looked very good. The Romanians look great too, surprisingly. Like, not surprisingly, the Romanians are always great. But, like, you know, the little blow to the team with Sandra, Spasha, injuring herself. But they are looking pretty good. Like, Kylie and the Pomor um, had a slight injury, but it looks like she'll be okay. And Anna Porgress looks great. The rest of the team looks great. Um, so, good luck to the Romanians as well. And Russia, um, it's kind of, they're being, they're inconsistent. If they hit, they will win. If they have mistakes, it's not likely they will. So, I don't know. Victoria has had her rough days, but when she hits, she's great, and it looks like she has her Aminar back. It's not consistent yet, but she's landing on her feet. So, I mean, it might still have the same amount of deductions as her double, but, I mean, it gives a better impression to the judges, so, yeah, good luck to them, too, um, other teams looking good, uh, Great Britain, obviously, um, their team has gotten so good, like, it amazes me how much they've improved over the last few years, and I'm just really excited to see Beth Tweddle out there, and also the Australians are looking good, Lauren Mitchell is back up to her good her potential uh she's been struggling this year but she's looking better now i haven't really checked out many other teams so i'll leave it at that so you can comment or say anything you have to say or any other gymnasts i should be looking for this this uh world championships that's really all i have yeah so uh Next time, I'll probably be talking about how Worlds is going. I don't know exactly when that will be, but hopefully within a couple days or within the week. Um, I'll try to make another one. So, so yeah, bye. So, quick update. Um, I guess Alicia will not be on the floor, like not even supporting the team for qualifications or team finals or anything because she has been flown back to the States, which is kind of scary because, like, I mean, the team is so new now. Like, we have Allie Raisman and the rest are first-year seniors. So it's really going to be difficult for them to find the motivation and drive that Alicia could provide. But maybe they'll just use this as motivation to work harder. Like, this can't bring them down kind of thing. So hopefully. Anyway, so that's the update.